Metal Up Row, this is CJ with CJOrtiz.com and MetzelMotivation.com. This is the first of a new five-message series I'm doing on the way life works. Now, this is all shown in my Life Domination online coaching program, which is something I'd love for you to join. To learn more about it, you can visit the link below, MetalMotivation.com forward slash Life Domination Coaching. The way life works. Now, it may seem like a bold claim on my part to pretend that I even know the way life works. Life has been around long before I ever got here, and it will exist long after I'm gone. So who am I to pretend that I understand and know the way life works? Well, it's not actually a bold claim. Uh, The reason why it's not a bold claim is because we are inundated with things, truths, principles, uh, knowledge that is unquestionable. We are surrounded and build our world on things which are sure and are things that we can depend upon no matter what, whether we're here or not, they are absolutely dependable. Everything that you do in life, everything that you're involved in in life, that is stable, that has been around for thousands of years, these are all established on these absolute truths. Like what, CJ? Well, for example, the laws of mathematics, laws of engineering. There are laws within the arts, creativity, music. A G chord is a G chord. A G chord is not an F chord. Okay, They are not the same thing. There are laws of thought, laws of reason, laws of logic. There are um, laws of flight. There are laws of physics. All of the, We are surrounded, we are inundated more so by things that are absolute and true than we are the things that are questionable. So why are people so confused? Well, people are confused because they get their mind off the absolutes, they get their mind off the established principles, and they start to focus on things that are just not much more than guesswork. And a lot of gurus will put themselves out there as masters of guesswork. There's always a new thing, a new trend, a new fad, a new idea, a new philosophy that you've got to consider it's the latest thing, and you're going to try and implement this along with the other hodgepodge of different philosophies that you're holding inside your head. You don't really go anywhere. It just sort of pacifies you in the moment. It pacifies your emotions, but nothing ever really happens. Now, we can see a clear indicator of this. It's always been this way within the realm of dieting, right? How many diets have you heard about throughout your life? How many... South Beach and um, paleo and keto and this diet and the Beverly Hills diet and the fruit diet and the vegan and the Mediterranean diet. There's just diet after diet after diet. Remember back in the 80s, it was all about aerobics and, you know, everybody was uh, either doing aerobics or they were going to the gym and lifting weights. Well, now the what you see happening in Uh, gyms now is completely different than what it was 30 years ago. Now gyms are going more to that CrossFit strength training type things. They're having to implement, they're having to get heavy medicine balls and kettlebells and all of these things in there because the market has changed. Ideas have changed. Things have moved. It used to be everything was low fat food. Now people are saying eat healthy fats. Okay, so things continue to change, but there are some things that don't change, right? Uh, Electricity does not change. Mathematics are not changing. Laws that govern music and these other things, they're not changing. You might have different and better airplanes, but the laws of flight haven't changed. Okay, so there can be confusion in things in life, but just remember that the confusion usually tends to be when you are trying to put together a bunch of different ideas and come up with this new way of your individual way of looking at things, and that's what creates the confusion because you're not going anywhere. That's why, again, going back to the diet example, people can be on diet after diet after diet, and guess what? They're still not losing weight. They're still not getting to where they want to be. What's the problem? Well, one problem is consistency of application, right? A lot of people know good and right information, but they don't apply it consistently. But beyond that, the information is fallible. Beyond that, the information is not something that can be established. 
because people don't take the time to research these things. Like I'm on the keto diet. I've been on the keto diet for about three years now. And I was in the dentist's office the other day and was talking to the hygienist. And she had noted that I was in my conversation with the doctor, I told him that I was on the ketogenic diet. And she said that her and her husband had been on it from, for some time, and it's made a tremendous difference in their life. And so we're talking about all the things that govern it. But even in, in that instance, she was focused on one aspect of the benefits of that diet, not necessarily highlighting the other aspect. So people are getting, for example, on the ketogenic diet because they want to lose weight. And it is a great way to lose weight. But the most important thing about the ketogenic diet is health. That's the most important thing. So being on the keto diet, for example, for me for the last three years has taught me more about nutrition than maybe I cared to know, right? I've learned about things. I've learned about adrenals. I've learned about the liver. I've learned about kidneys. I've learned about insulin. I've learned about my heart. I've learned about um, hacking my body. I've learned about just all the things that can happen in in your body and you be affected by even emotionally and psychologically that are all related to what you eat. So my premise now is it's not aesthetics. It's not the exterior way that I look. It's about what's going on inside me. Well, I feel these are more principle-based approaches to that. So I can say when it comes to nutrition, this is the way life works. Now, you might have a certain individual who responds negatively to a particular diet, but again, they respond negatively because of certain principles, right? Their body can't process the fat or their body can't handle or needs more protein or what have you. But the point is, is that you get at the truth the more it's established upon proven principles. And so within this uh, motivational industry, the self-help industry, there's a lot of ideas being battered about. That's why I build what I do on proven principles. That's why, for example, you don't hear me talk about things like prayer. That doesn't mean I don't pray. You you don't hear me talk about things like the law of attraction. It doesn't mean I don't think you can do some powerful things with your mind. That's not the point. The point is I can't establish that this is going to work in every person's life. And if I can't establish that, then I don't necessarily need to be teaching it because that person has probably already read some stuff about prayer or visualization or law of attraction or what have you, and it's not working in their life. And so I, I might go in as a coach and take a look at what's going on and try to find out where they're failing, and I'm, I'm not seeing the effort put. I'm not seeing the work put out. I'm seeing more effort being put into just mind tricks more so than effort. So when it comes down to the way life works and whatever that area of life that you're trying to bring a change in, There are things that govern it that you need to be established in. It's that way for relationships. It's that way for the physical body. It's that way for money. It's going to be that way for whatever career it is that you're in. It's going to be that way for you emotionally. It's going to be that way for you psychologically. Everything. There's a way that things work. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the way life works so that you can dispel some confusion. I'm not saying I'm going to give you everything you need to know about the way life works, but I can tell you this. We'll get the main settings squared away. We'll get the major dials more dialed in and so that we can dispel some of the stuff that may be confusing you more than helping you. And I think in that regard, You'll be amazed at once you clear some of the clutter, once you get some of the mud out of the water and things become more clear, how some of those problems that you've been wrestling with are just you're going to find some answers to. And you're going to be able to move forward in a way that's been far more progressive and productive than it's been in the past. Can you dig that? I hope you can. So that's what I'm covering all this week in my Life Domination online coaching program. I always show the first episode for free if you'd like to see the rest as well as have our access to my archives of over 800 videos on over 150 topics, then you need to join the Life Domination Online Coaching Program. Very inexpensive, under $20 a month, no contracts. It's all done in a private Facebook group, which I administrate. Awesome people in this group, and that's really the best part of it, the other people that you're about to meet. So sign up today. I'd love to have you there. Go to the link below, metalmotivation.com forward slash Life Domination Coaching.
This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.